Another all-time high on the NASDAQ, and it happened fairly early in the session. And markets overall kind of drifted. We saw a fair bit of fluctuation, very modest moves, and a mixed picture for most of the day after a pretty big start to the week. Now, more states are moving to shut things down again after reopening. That includes Connecticut. The mayor of Miami is forcing gyms and restaurants to close after more than 7,000 new cases were reported in Florida today. Now, the price for gold moved above $1,800, and it got close to a nine-year high, although it really didn't help Bay Street much at all. The tech tear continues with shares in Tesla hitting an all-time high for a fourth straight day. Today, another upgrade, but this one had a bit of a twist. Morgan Stanley analysts did lift their price target on the stock, but they still do not recommend buying it. That new all-time high for shares in Tesla, by the way, over $1,400. Uber is branching out. The ride-sharing company is getting into the grocery delivery business, starting in just two cities, Toronto and Montreal. An Uber spokesperson says you'll be able to place orders from local merchants and receive them in as little as one to two hours. The new services offer thousands of items from retailers, including Walmart, Metro, Rexall, Costco, Longo's, Pet Value and Well.ca. Now, Uber does face stiff competition. Amazon and Instacart are already going head to head with supermarket brands like Walmart and Loblaw. And a data mining firm is preparing to go public. Palantir Technologies has confidentially filed to go public, setting up what could be the biggest stock offering from a tech company since Uber's debut last year. This company was founded in 2004 by a collection of investors, including Peter Thiel, who was a co-founder of PayPal. Palantir actually works with governments, law enforcement agencies, and the defense establishment in the U.S. to organize and analyze huge volumes of data. Now, this technology can be used to disrupt terrorist networks or battle human trafficking. Most recently, it's been used in the U.S. to track coronavirus infections. In the 680 Business Center, I'm Chris McCusker.